Okay, moving on to the next subject matter, which this is huge. Okay, what I'm about to show you here is is big, it's huge, it's the number one way to organize and so forth. So um, something that um, I do here is I do not mess with the original order and boxes of these reels. Every single company out there is splicing all these reels onto larger reels like this. You get them all back like this. And so if you've got a system, different subject matters, all of these reels just end up in a mishmash. Where did it go? And then when you get a file back, you're just gonna get a file for like the whole collection. Now, I do not do that. Everything that you have here, like the reels that you see, come back in a digital mirror. So every single reel of film has its own file. So you can rename them, renumber them. If you don't know what's on them, you just number them as best you can and then you'll go to number six right here and then you'll click and then boom, it'll just come up and you can just whiz that quickly through the whole thing. Now, if it's been transferred, you know, and then you wanna rename it, you just go and you just call it, you know, whatever you want from there, you know? And that's that. Now, another great thing, I'm using QuickTime Player here. Uh, in the Mac, it's available on PC free of charge. It is a great basic video editor. So say if you've got number eight right here and you wanted to, it was a birthday party and it's like three reels and you just wanna combine them all to be Jimmy's fifth birthday party. All you do is just drag it into and see how it just pops up here with that little uh, yellow thing, boom, and then you just, and you can add another reel to it. You just keep going. Now, if there's anything in the wrong sequence, you can put it in front. See, look at that. So you can undo all the, especially on these big reels where they've been spliced together by, you know, so you or someone in your family and they've been spliced out of sequence. You can take that entire reel and then just save it as another file. Now, this doesn't alter the original, but let's just say that it was spliced together incorrectly. So you can pull up that file and you just go to trim. And then just like if you've got an iPad or an iPhone with the videos, you can just get anything in the yellow you can keep. And then you just trim it. And then boom, you've got rid of that, all that stuff. Again, doesn't alter the original, just creates a new file. And also what you can do, again, subject matter of just putting it in correct sequence, um, is you can split the clip. Uh, let's have a look here. And boom, let's go right in the middle. And then let's have a look. Split clip right there. Watch this. Boop. Now it is in two pieces. See, one, two. So you can now go, oh, let's put that before the other one there and then resave that file as a new one like magic and it the rendering time on these is just so quick you don't even need editing software quicktime player is fantastic so that is why it is imperative and i say this with emphasis um emphatically that's the word um is, is all of these reels must remain intact. So if you are, you know, shopping around, you, the first question, do you splice reels together? And they're gonna more than likely tell you yes. And all it does is because it makes their job easier. They'll just get stuff and they'll just put a reel on, turn it on and they walk away. Even though you never walk away from this stuff, you've got to adjust for, you know, the colors and the, the audio and the uh, brightness and all that kind of stuff. And also if it starts to chew up, you, you know, you've got to be there like that. So um, all these companies, they just splice stuff together. You get all your reels back, but they're empty. And then you've got all these white or blue seven inch reels that are all spliced together. And then you've got this complete mess. So if you wanna edit and you know go back to number six and okay, yeah, it's uh, Mount Rushmore, February 73, you can rename it as that. Uh, you know what I'm saying. And then also um, on the drive, um, you know, easy enough to copy these things as well. So you can, this is how easy it is just to copy it over to your uh, desktop. You just drag it, drag and drop, let go, 
and you'll start to make a, a copy, here we go, of the entire contents, I mean, in less than a minute. Um, yes, very easy to manage these files.